Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and I make DIY easy and trendy jewelry making projects. The project that I'm going to be showing you today is one of our easiest that we've ever done, but it's one of our most popular. I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful knotted pearl necklace. So we've got a larger pearl in the front, a smaller pearl in the back that functions as the clasp, and it's just some simple knots that I'll be showing you along the way. But I'll also be including some tips and tricks to make this a very easy project for you. The materials we're using today are one 10 millimeter large hole pearl for the clasp, one either 12 or 14 millimeter large hole pearl for the front of the necklace. We also are using three feet of vegan suede lace, and then you can use scissors to cut your cord shorter if you'd like to make a shorter necklace like what I'm wearing. You can find these materials in a kit at beadplace.net. You can click the link in the description below and it'll take you directly to the kit. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my vegan suede lace and make sure that my ends are cut to a fine point. So if you get the kit, they come already cut at an angle like this, um, but if you're using your own suede lace, make sure that you cut it so that it creates a point that'll make it easier for us to poke it up through the bead. Next, what we're going to do is take our larger pearl and string one side of our lace through the pearl. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it'll be easy to pull through. So string that to the very middle of your cord. So you can check to make sure that it's in the very middle of your cord by bending the ends together and making sure they are the same length. Our next step is to tie knots on either side of the pearl. One of the great things about the pearls that we include in the kit is that we have sized the holes of the pearls specifically to fit our vegan suede perfectly. So that means they move freely on the cord when you want them to move, but they sit still when you don't want them to move. So that makes knot tying very easy. The first knot that I'm going to show you is kind of a cross between an overhand knot and a barrel knot. Our first step is to make a loop like this. Notice that this side of the loop, the end cord side of the loop is behind the front side of the loop that's closest to the pearl. So it looks like this. Make sure that we're working really close and really small. Next, I'm gonna take the end of the cord and bring it around that loop. Like this. Now I'm going to take the very end of that same cord and I'm gonna bring it up from where the pearl is through that loop we just wrapped and through the loop we made first. Like this. And I'm gonna pull it tight, but as I pull it, I wanna make sure that this pearl's not going anywhere and I wanna keep everything small and close. That way I'm able to correct anything that goes wrong and I'm able to kind of place these spirals exactly where I want them to go. So I still want this little guy, my last loop, to stay closest to the pearl and I want my first loop to stay on top. Now, what can happen when we pull this tight is that some of our cords can cross over or become twisted now, for me personally, I don't mind that look, but if you would prefer a smoother look, you are more than welcome to untwist as you tighten. So the goal of this knot is to make it look like an X on one side, and then just kind of two bars on the other side. So on one side we have an X, and on the other side we have two clean bars. Now you can tighten this knot as much as you'd like. You can make it really small by pulling on both ends or you can leave it a little bit puffier which is what I prefer especially if you're using the larger 14 millimeter size pearl. So next we're gonna flip our work around 
And we're gonna do the same thing to this end here. Now, if you tried that and it was a little bit too complicated for you, or you might not have the dexterity to complete that knot, a very simple alternative is to just tie an overhand knot like this. So you can tie a loop and then just bring your tail end through that loop. Keep your fingers close and keep your work small and tight so that you're able to just cinch that knot right down to your work. The only difference between this knot over here and this knot is this provides a little bit more of a uniform shape. You can see this side is a little bit slanted and crooked. And then this one has an X on one side and just one bar on the other side. So it looks a little bit uneven, but it creates a really organic, nice shape, and it is a little bit simpler and easy to grasp than our other knot. So I'm going to undo this knot and I'm going to show you again how we create that knot that we did first. So next we'll be repeating those same steps that we used to create this first knot by making a loop right on top of our pearl. Remember to keep the front of the loop, the side that's coming out of the pearl, and the back of the loop, the side that comes out to make the tail end. So then we're gonna take the tail end around that loop, just like this, and we're gonna take the end of the tail end, our pointy end, and we're gonna bring it up through this loop and this loop. So bring it through that one and that one, just like that. So we're going to continue to keep our loops tight and small and we're going to pull the tail end so that we tighten those loops even further. Remember to make sure that your pearl is tight to this knot so that when we tighten this knot on this side, we get a tight fit on either side of the pearl. So you'll notice that we still have that same shape of an X on one side and two bars on the other side. If you have any twists in your knot at this point, before you tighten it all the way, you can go ahead and kind of twist and maneuver your cord if you need to, in order to get any of those twists out. But again, like I said, it's not necessary. So tighten by pulling from the tail end only this time. That way we're sure to get a knot that's tight to our pearl. So you can maneuver your knot however you'd like so that you can get it to match the other knot. We wanna have it matched in size and in appearance. So I recommend if you've got a twisted knot on this side, make sure you've got a twisted knot on this side. If you've got a smooth, flat knot on this side, make sure you've got a smooth, flat knot on this side. There are a couple of easy ways to figure out how long to make your necklace. The first and easiest way is to match your necklace to a necklace you already own. That's exactly the length that you want your new necklace. The second way is almost as easy. Basically what we're gonna do is hold our fingers equidistant from the pearl and we're just going to put them around the back of your neck and uh, kind of adjust your fingers along the cord until your fingers meet in the back so that the necklace cord is laying around your neck how it would be if you're wearing it. So kind of adjust the pearl until it's exactly the right position so that your necklace is the right length and then go ahead and grab on both sides to make sure that you're still equal and you've grabbed right at the exact length that we want it. So you can either keep your fingers right here at the right length or what you can do is measure from the pearl to that length on one side and then you know that that's exactly where you wanna place your knot. That's a good idea if you have kids or cats or uh, anyone that might wanna interrupt you while you're doing this process. That way when you come back to it, you know exactly where you wanna place your knot. 
I'm holding the cord exactly where my fingers were when they were around the back of my neck. So what I'm gonna do here is tie that same knot that we tied at the beginning around our pearl. If that knot gave you a little bit of trouble, there's no worries. You can just do a simple overhand knot here because it'll be hidden on the back of your neck. But I'm going to show you that same knot one more time. <laughs> so we're gonna do a loop. We're gonna bring our tail end around the loop and then we're going to bring the end of our cord through those two loops that we've just made. So it's really important when we're tightening this knot that we don't move these fingers at all, these here, <laughs> because that secures the exact length of our necklace. So hold these fingers tight in their exact spots and we're just pulling the length out of this tail end here. So tighten that knot right to your fingers. And then what we're going to do once we have that knot tied is we're gonna take one of our 10 millimeter pearls. That's the smaller pearl that comes in your kit and you are going to string it through. So slide it down to the knot and we're going to tie another knot in the same way that we tied our second knot before. So loop and swoop and through. And then tighten it down to the knot. Remember to adjust the knots so that they look the same and make sure they're the same size. Now, if you are making a shorter necklace than what the cord allows, what you'll wanna do is take some scissors and trim just a short little tail end at a slight angle right off the end of your cord. Now I'm gonna trim mine just a little bit more at an angle. <laughs> that way it has kind of a nice taper. So now what we're gonna do is move to the other side of the necklace. So grab the other side of the cord right where this pearl is. Then what we're gonna do is go up about an inch and a half. We're gonna fold the cord over in half on itself and we're gonna tie this into what's called an overhand knot. So it's that same knot that we did before. We're just holding it doubled. So we're going to loop and then bring the tail end through the loop. We wanna tighten this knot so that it will just barely fit this pearl through it. So kind of adjust it so that your knot looks nice and it's small. And then check to make sure that your pearl can fit through it. We want it to be snug enough that the pearl won't come out on its own, but loose enough that you're not gonna have to fight it getting it on and off. There we go, that looks about perfect. Before we trim the tail ends, it's always a good idea to double check to make sure you have the right length for your necklace, so try it on. And then also you wanna make sure that your clasp is perfectly centered on your necklace. So the inch and a half that we added on before we tied this knot is the exact amount of length that is taken up when we tie this doubled overhand knot. Obviously when we tie a knot in cord, there's some length that gets taken up when we tie that knot. But when our cord is doubled, that knot is bigger and more cord is taken up to travel around the size of that knot. So an inch and a half is the exact length of cord that is kind of eaten by this knot. So that's why we add it right on to the end before we double it. Now, if you have tied your knot and you can't really get it right <laughs> for placement, you're welcome to play with those numbers. This is what works best for me and the tension that my cord holds. But if you're using a different cord, obviously the size of your knot and the amount of cord that's taken up is going to be different. So feel free to untie your knot and make any adjustments that you need in order to make your project perfect. Mine's perfect as it is, lucky me. So I'm just going to trim my tail end. And of course, make sure you're trimming the tail end and not your necklace. We don't want any catastrophes. 
So I've got that tail end trimmed. It's about the same length as the other tail end. And I have a beautiful, finished, simple, stunning, everyday necklace. Side note, I just wanna talk for a quick second about the pearls that come in the kit. So there are a ton of different types of beautiful, either cultured or faux or glass, freshwater, saltwater pearls out there. The pearls that come in the kit that we offer for this project are made of a material called ABS. So ABS is the same type of material that they make Legos out of, a lot of baby toys out of because this type of material has no known carcinogens in it. And it's also really stable and uh, it doesn't corrode with certain chemicals that are common like um, household cleaners or perfumes. So we've chosen to use this material for our really inexpensive uh, but still beautiful pearls um, because it is uh, so strong and so safe. So here's an extra design tip to those of you that have made it this far into the video. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite variations to make with this necklace design. All I've done is I've doubled the amount of cord that we're using. So instead of one yard, I'm using two yards of the vegan suede. That way I can bring my clasp around to the front to create a wraparound necklace. So this, in my opinion, is the perfect accessory to just dress up a basic plain colored t-shirt because you've got something nice on your neck and then something kind of featured down on top of the plain shirt. We also have the cord available um, in a ton of different colors. There's like, I think 17 or 18 different colors that you can choose from. So you can really customize this and make this your own. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. If you have any questions or if you just wanna say hi, make sure to drop a comment down below. I do my best to respond to everybody's comments. Um, please like us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We put out new content all the time. Don't forget to check out our Patreon link down below if you'd like to support our channel even further. We also have merch linked beneath the video. You can see our cool merch underneath the video here. And thanks for watching.